Hi guys, welcome to my room tour. Come on in, let me show you. So you guys, this is the master's bedroom. So it's really spacious. So over here I have my bathroom. So this is actually a nice space. So I was tempted to actually use this room for the YouTube studio because it has so much natural light. So and by the way, this, this video was filmed with out a light. It's just God giving light and it actually gave. Okay, so you guys, this is this other area of the room. So like you can see the night the lighting. I'm not going to lie, I'm tempted to use this for the studio, but I have plenty of ngongo that I need to fit into a special space. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so um, this is what my bathroom looks like currently, and I want to redo it because um, it still feels like I'm in school, so I don't like it. That's why I'm going to redo the bathroom. So we're going to put like the glass thing here then we're going to redo this one okay so you guys that's the mirror we're going to be hanging and this is the what is it called cupboard <laughs> i beg you don't do so you guys this is the bathroom this is this other corner of the bathroom and i don't know why they had to do this this is dirty this is dirty I was expecting these guys to like put this thing close to this door because we we're not supposed to have like this wire. But now I'm going to box this thing because I want to have like a very clean finish in my bathroom so that my videos can actually be when I am working. Okay, so we just took out the sink now, so I'm going to look for where to put them back so that if I'm leaving the house, I'm going to have a What about that she can't hear? Back. Uh, I think, will it be opening by itself? Yeah. <laughs> Is that the marbles? Uh, yes. Okay, so you guys initially I didn't want to buy another what do you call this thing? Tap. Mixer tap. Mixer rather. For washing using. Because I've actually spent a lot. So but unfortunately I'm still going to buy another one because this one is really short. Very short. Very, very short actually. So we're trying to see if we can get a longer one. What I like here is the whole thing is coming really well. It's coming out well rather. 
We're still going to box this So we're waiting for the electrician to come. He's close by. So there's also one thing I'm so excited about, which is a mirror. So it's lying down on my bed right there. So I'm just waiting for them to finish this one so they can go ahead and put the mirrors. So but I'm still going to I'm still going to show you guys what it looks like. Hi guys, so they just left and um, these guys they did an amazing job but they couldn't finish so um, initially I wanted to use the, the old uh, what's it called tap from the old thing but apparently it's shorter than this one so we need something that is a bit longer so but they are going to come back on Monday to change that one then the rope lights I don't know for no reason the guy bought the rope light and he didn't test it he just brought it so I was asking him why didn't you test it I mean this thing you know you're going to be working with it you just collected it and entered the road to be coming here so he said he's sorry so I said no problem then um, he's going to come back on Monday to you know fix that one they already did the Thin and they box the water heater already and um, the rope lights inside the what's it called the product shelf I'm going to hang like my skincare <laughs> hey god I'm gonna tell shop people so uh, the rope light here is really working like everything is on and like my bathroom is actually glistening if you know what I mean so the color code for my bathroom is black and white so because of this handle here i decided to you know retain the black tap so i told the the what's it called the carpenter to also give me like black handle for you know the cupboards and by the way i have like a one two three four sorry yeah one two three drawers on the side so I can as well put some, you know, bathroom things inside. So now I'm going to be doing everything that concerns the bathroom inside the bathroom. The bathroom is actually fine. That's the idea. After all the stress, you come back home and feel like you are home. That's why it's called a home. Show me this 
brown before, like in first set. Oh, this is one we're doing right. But I still prepare this one. So this is the 1.2. Mm -hmm. This is the 2 mm by This is the SPC. I think the SPC is flatter than this one. Yes, but it's more durable than this one. Mm. It's more heavier than the wooden. So what we're going for? Mm. Let's let me more like this. This this is. Actually pictured it and yeah I love it. You guys did an amazing job too. We love it. If, when I want to leave, you say I should do what? Call me. I will remove it and go and use it in your new apartment. Okay, you guys heard it. <laughs> So you guys, we're going to be starting with this, which is my bed area. So um, as you guys can see, everything is neutral. I have brown here, I have green, I have beige, and um, I have this type of brown, coffee brown, I guess. So um, honestly, I was going for a very modern and minimal type feel. So I didn't want something too busy. 
maybe in the future, sure, but for now, I am comfortable with minimal and clean aesthetics. So we're going to be moving over to this area, the TV area. So uh, most times when I want to go to bed and I want to do it in like two seconds, I, <laughs> I turn on the TV and <laughs> before you know it, I'm sleeping. So um, this is the TV in my room from Enugu. I still brought it here. And here is the TV console. I had this made for me by Wicca's Basket. So they also did the bed. Sorry, I forgot to mention. So um, once we're done from here, we're going to go back to the bed and talk about some of the things we have on the bed and by the bedside. So um, yeah, I said it already. I got this from them too. Then I got this diffuser from Imon Sense. You guys, you must have seen the vlog. But if not, I'm going to leave it up here. So I got this from Imon. Then I got this from Siakasa. It was in my room when I was still in Enugu. For this plant, I got this with a vase from Wicca's Basket also. Then you guys, let's go back to the bed so I can show you guys what's on it. So the bed frame is from Wicca's Basket. Then this mattress I got from a vendor on Instagram. I'm still trying to remember this people's name cause I might be getting a king size bed. So I feel this is my bed is too small for me now. <laughs> it feels like a trap. So I want to get something bigger. Then this I got from an Instagram vendor. I'm going to look for their name and leave it in the description. So right here, I have this side thing from Wicca's Basket and the lamp from an Instagram vendor. I'm also going to leave it in the description. Then for the plants, I got from Wicca's Basket. Then you guys, come let me show you guys. I said it in one of my vlogs that I couldn't afford the very expensive ones. I have to cut my coats according to my fabric. This one, this side too, I saw it on Wicca's Basket but I... I didn't think paying that amount for this was <laughs> a good idea. So I showed it to Mr. Solomon and he did something and you guys, he nailed it. So we're going to be going over to this side, my wardrobe. So by the way, all of this design I got from Pinterest and we just added one or two to make it my own because um, sometimes it's not good to just copy everything and paste it still add one or two touch which i did so here when i had this made this part was empty so i had to do this um what's it called drawers so this will help me organize my stuff very well so inside here i have my gym tops here my gym shorts then right here i have like my t-shirts all my housewares and saloon wares then right here i have my shorts everything shorts is in here then what did i even put here okay these are my knitted so they are down here yeah so up here i'm not going to open it because i'm so embarrassed <laughs> i have everything bag inside here I'll take care of that one later, but not in this video. So we're going to be talking lighting. First of all, the natural lights from God. So I have actually shot a video in front of this. One of the, I think it was the life update video. So I'm going to link it up so you guys go watch that video. So this one came with me from Enugu. This was the light in the salon. So I had three of them one two three by the way if you've not seen that video too i'm also going to link it up or leave it in the description so you guys go watch those videos so it's very necessary to get things that you can recycle or reuse in different spaces don't just get something that fits or suits a particular space if you're buying buy something that you know that if you're tired of using it here and you want to move it it's still going to fit into the aesthetics I hope you guys understand. So um, I had it put into a plate and then we have the three of them dropping right in my bedroom. Then for the other one in the, what's it called? The ceiling, 
it came with the apartment this this ones there are four by the sides and the middle one so for the curtains so this is a very beautiful fabric when he came to show me the samples as soon as i saw this one i just told him <laughs> this is a curtain i love the fabric it's so rich so luxury it's giving i have the money <laughs> sorry so initially i wanted to have just this but after some time i realized that there are some days i don't even want to know what's going on outside so why not just get a blind and cover it so that was how i came to the conclusion of getting like an actual cutting and a lining what is it called <laughs> so that's it so the last thing in my room is the basket so this basket was actually gifted to me by Wicca's basket so I'm basically using it to pack some clothes and shoes so that's basically what I put here so sometimes when I don't want to take my clothes out because I'm too tired I put the clothes in here and then after on take it to the washing machine the last piece I got for my room is my rug <laughs> this rug here till now I've not gotten a refund because I mistakenly paid 25,000 to someone's account someone I don't even know because I omitted a number and I just interchanged it I don't know what happened so I have tried to contact this person and the bank is saying they need consent from the person before they can release the money and all of that so i'm just waiting hopefully god will touch this person's mind and then he will he or she will return my money so i got it from a vendor in turkey on instagram actually and it was for 225 000 naira. the floor i had it done by one guy i met on instagram so i'm going to leave his um, Instagram in the description so you guys must have probably seen it in one of my vlogs where I included the making of um, the tiles so that's pretty much it for my room so we're going to be going to my bathroom now and I want to really show you guys how much I have put into my bathroom to fit you know my needs <laughs> like my bathroom needs yeah so come on in let me show you guys so you guys, excuse the echoing, I'm actually in my bathroom and it's really a small space. I utilized it really well. So we're starting with this. This cupboard wasn't supposed to be here. So we were supposed to have this down to the wall, but this wouldn't plan the house well. Sorry, and they put a water heater here. So the water heater was just here and I had wires scattered around here. So. The best option was to make a useless, well, useful wardrobe because I mean, it's covering something. So we had it here and we had to reduce the size of this one. So initially, the plan was just to have it down to the roof, which I, the ceiling, which I said, then we just have like four demarcations, just like this, but they're going to be wider but we just had to do what we had to do to make it look aesthetically pleasing so right here i have my skincare products then um some of them i have in the wardrobe or rather the drawer then here i have my perfume collection then here i have my shaving spray and down here i have my shampoo and conditioner from Brutos. Then this cabinet, I had it made for me by Mr. Solomon. The day I called him to make this and I showed him the picture, the first thing he did was he brought out his pen and he started sketching. I'm like, you're seeing the picture. <laughs> Why are you sketching? He said, that's the only way he can understand what he's going to make. And I respect him for that. After he did this, I just call Mr. Solomon, show him a picture. He takes measurements and voila, he delivers his work so clean. Nobody would believe this was made for me by a Nigerian carpenter. You actually think it was imported. So he had this slab on it, or the marble rather, not a slab. Then um, we have some drawers here. Then right here, I have another drawer where I, stay, I store my combs my clipper here i have everything toilet care 
then right here is this basket you can throw in your towels but I have never used this shower so here is the WC and on top of it I have my um, what's it called my tissue so a friend of mine saw it and suggested I put tissue in it just to make the place really organized and beautiful so right here my favorite part you guys I love towels then right here is my shower area so I actually did this myself so I got someone to put it initially this space was empty so um, the shower they put initially didn't last me so I had to buy this one myself so this rug I got from Signature Homes sometimes I feel like just lying down because it's so fluffy so this diffuser I got it from La Savannah they are in the same um, complex where my gym is then the mirror I had Mr. Solomon do it the exact pattern from the picture is what we did here then I had my plumber install this why it was Mr. Solomon who actually went to the market to get this. Then this candle I got from a store somewhere in Kui. I've forgotten the name, but I'm going to check and put your names in the description. Then for my hand wash, I got these containers alongside with the toilet brush and the bean. I got it from a vendor on Instagram. So you guys, we are done from the bathroom. So let's go back to the room. You guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my room tour. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're yet to. And also give this video a very big thumbs up. Like my other videos, watch them. Share them with your friends. Because you know, like I always say, sharing is caring. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So you always be notified whenever I post a video. So is there anything you want to see here on my channel? Don't forget to leave it in the comments below. And I promise you guys I'm going to come through. So I love you all to the moon and back. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.